There's been a lot of talk about Will Smith and his wife Jada Pickett Smith over the last few months. If this was 2020 or before, it would have been because people were talking about the scandal that they unveiled on their show Red Table Talk, or how they were doing something big in Hollywood, or something was going on with their kids. But because of what happened at the Oscars this year, now all people talk about are their connections to the slap on Chris Rock. Lots of things happened because of this, not the least of which was them not being seen in public together, until recently that is. We'll break it down for you but before we do that go ahead and do us a favor by leaving a like on the video subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell icon so you never miss an upload from us and with that being said let's get straight into the video do you want to win an iphone 12 maybe a macbook pro how about 500 dollars cash all you have to do is comment the secret hidden message somewhere in this video that's it oh and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep affording these giveaways winner will be announced at the last day of each month thanks for watching and good luck. Number 6. The Date Like we noted, Will and Jada haven't been seen in public together since the incident at the Oscars. But that changed earlier in the week when the two were spotted together in public and seemed to be having a good time. The couple enjoyed an afternoon date at Nobu Malibu on Saturday as they were photographed out together for the first time since Will smacked Chris Rock on stage in defense of Jada at the 94th Academy Awards, a moment that caused a lot of things to happen and the healing is still not fully done with it to be clear. They appeared to be in good spirits and a beard sporting Will even threw the peace sign to a fan as Jada appeared to hold on to his belt loop while they walked to their car. Granted, this could just be an in-the-moment smile, but it's hard to tell with the Smiths these days, for better and for worse. If there was a reason for Will to smile beyond him being on a date with his wife, it would be that not too long ago, he made attempts to make amends with Chris Rock. Number 5. The Apology Video Yes indeed, though it took many months, not including the statement that he made after the Oscars, which was written word, Will Smith went on camera and in a very carefully made video, as you can tell just by watching it, he went and apologized to everyone, from the fans to those at the Oscars that night, and of course, Chris Rock and his family. It's been a minute. Over the last few months, I've been doing a lot of thinking and personal work. You asked a lot of fair questions that I wanted to take some time to answer. Smith immediately addressed the controversy, noting he didn't apologize to rock in his acceptance speech because he was fogged out at that point. I was fogged out by that point. It's 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 all fuzzy. It's all fuzzy. I've reached out to Chris, and the message that came back is he is not ready to talk. Smith explained, and when he is, he will reach out. So I will say to you, Chris, I apologize to you. My behavior was unacceptable, and I'm here whenever you're ready to talk. I want to apologize to Chris's mother. I saw an interview that Chris's mother did, and that was one of the things about that moment. Well continued. I didn't realize, and I wasn't thinking about how many people got hurt in that moment. I want to apologize to Chris's mother. I want to apologize apologize to Chris's family, specifically Tony Rock. We had a great relationship. Tony Rock was my man, and this is probably irreparable. Tony Rock was my man, um, and uh, this, this, is, this is probably irreparable. When he slapped Chris, he slapped all of us. He really slapped me, Rosalie said at the time. You reacted to your wife giving you the side eye and you went and made her day because she was mulled over laughing when it happened. I spent the last three months replaying and understanding the nuances and the complexities of what happened in that moment, Smith said. And I'm not going to try to unpack all of that right now, but I can say to all of you that there is no part of me that thinks that was the right way to behave in that moment. There's no part of me that thinks that's the optimal way to handle a feeling of disrespect or insults. Smith continued by saying the choice was his own, and that his wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, had nothing to do with it. He concluded the apology video by noting that he's human, and he made a mistake, but he is trying not to think of himself as a piece of If you hang on, I promise we'll be able to be friends again. I'm trying not to think of myself as a piece of shit. If you, if you hang on, I promise we'll be able to be friends again. Smith said in the video's final words. Yep, that's a lot to unpack for sure. And yet you could tell that at the very least, he was trying to be as honest as possible during that apology, especially in terms of him taking the blame and not passing it on to others, even if people believe that's what happened. Number four, 
making things clear. As noted, Will Smith made it clear that Jada didn't do anything to prompt the slap, which he even made clear as he read aloud a question about it. He noted that this was something he did alone and even apologized to Jada and his family for putting them through this rough time. Jada had nothing to do with it. Uh, I'm sorry, babe. I'm going to say sorry to my, my kids and, and my family for the heat that I brought on all of us. He also made sure to apologize to his fellow nominees and the committee that voted for him that night. Do recall that the 2020 Oscars should have been one of the best moments in Will Smith's life because he was about to win the Oscar for Best Actor via his role in the film King Richard. When the slap happened, it was about 45 minutes before the award was going to be presented, and there were many before and after who wondered if Will still should have gotten it. He did, but he was banned from the Oscars for the next 10 years due to all that happened. He also made sure to apologize to all the other nominees and award winners because he knew he tarnished the moment on a night that was equally as special or life-changing for them as it was meant to be for him. Uh, to all my fellow nominees, you know, this is a community. It's like I won because you, you voted for me and it, it, it really breaks my heart to have stolen and, and tarnished, tarnished your moment. So again, he was trying to take the full blame for what happened, and that's not something that celebrities always do. Number three, central trauma. Near the end of the video, one of the questions that Will Smith addressed was that of letting people down due to his actions. Because if you think about it, Will Smith was one of the more perfect celebs in terms of how he handled himself. He wasn't like many who regularly got in trouble with the law or let power go to their heads, as we've seen with other troubled celebrities. Yet in one move of his hand, he's now been branded, and he knows that is a bad thing, especially especially to him mentally. In the video, Will notes that disappointing people is his central trauma, noting that he hates to disappoint people, and that's exactly what he did via the slap. He states that he wants to bring life and love back into the world and is fully devoted to that notion. Disappointing people is my central trauma. Um, so it, it hurts. Uh, it hurts me psychologically and emotionally to know I didn't live up to uh, people's image and impression of me. Whether you believe all he has said is honestly up to you, but it's also not fully about Smith. It's also about Chris Rock, as he was the one who was slapped. Number two, Chris Rock on the apology. And sure enough, he did indeed respond to that apology, but in a comedy show where he made his thoughts very clear on the matter. If everybody claims to be a victim, then nobody will hear the real victims. Even me getting smacked by Suge Smith. I went to work the next day. I got kids, he continued, comparing Smith to Suge Knight, former CEO of Death Row Records, who is currently serving 28 years for voluntary manslaughter. He added, anyone who says words hurt has never been punched in the face. So yeah, he's still not fully ready to address it outside of jokes it's like i'm 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 sorry really isn't sufficient so take that as you will number one is will smith on the road to recovery an interesting inquiry and one that can't be ignored because at present he's radioactive in terms of hollywood many projects he was working on pre-oscars were put on hold due to his actions and it's not hard to see why chris i apologize to you uh, my behavior was unacceptable, and I'm here whenever you're ready to talk. The apology was a big step, and him being out in public might get people talking on how he's moving on from things, but only time will truly tell. The true proof of the recovery will be when he's cast in a big movie, or one of his projects is revealed to move forward. And there you have it everyone, a look at what's going on with Will and Jada, and how things might be looking for them in the future. Do you think that this is a sign that the two are ready to move past what happened at the Oscars? Do you think that others are ready to join them, or will the judgment against them still continue? Will Chris Rock be the the one to truly tell them when they are forgiven. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the channel.